She was once the fifth demon head of Golden Court Mountain, renowned for her exceptional beauty and skills. Now she is turned into a madwoman who has lost her sanity. She even roars about wanting to kill her own master. Upon hearing this news, Lu Zhou rushed to the reflection cave. By now, a crowd had gathered at the entrance of the cave, including female cultivators from Yan Yu Palace. Elder Hua Wudao also arrived, his face showing a look of surprise. I never thought that there would be such wicked sorcery in the world. It's actually witchcraft. Ming Shireen quickly asked Elder Hua, do you have a way to save her? Hua Wudao shook his head after hearing this. I'm afraid the only one who can resolve this situation is the sect leader. Not long after, Lu Zhou arrived with Little Yuaner. The crowd outside the cave bowed in unison as they saw him. Lu Zhou waved his hand and stepped into the cave. At this moment, Zhao Yu was behaving like a madwoman, ramming around inside the reflection cave. Soft energy was placed on the walls around to prevent her from harming herself. Xiao Yu appeared disheveled, her eyes vacant, and the red lotus at the center of her forehead became even more enchanting. Ming Shireen and Duan Mushing anxiously pleaded, Master, Fifth Junior Sister is being controlled by witchcraft. Please take action quickly. Fifth Junior Sister is not deserving of death. We beg for your mercy. Lu Zhou looked around and spoke calmly. She has brought this upon herself. If she had obediently stayed at Golden Court Mountain, she would not have encountered such a situation. Upon seeing her master, Xiao Yu, with a savage expression, lunged at him, shouting, I want to kill you. Ming Shireen quickly used his energy to bind her. Fifth junior sister is delirious and talking nonsense. We don't know what kind of strange witchcraft she has been subjected to. I asked Pan Zhong, and he said that this witchcraft can only be undone if the caster is willing. Otherwise, it is incurable. I don't believe it. Please take action, master. Lu Zhou, after hearing this, asked with curiosity, where is Pan Zhong? A female cultivator beside him answered, he has gone to the West Pavilion to look for relevant books. Hua Wudao spoke in a deep voice, Pan Zhong is essentially correct. This witchcraft is extremely evil. It confuses the mind and can control her to become a puppet. Fortunately, Zhao Yu has astonishing willpower, and her foundation in cultivation is strong. It's not easy that she has managed to hold on until now. Lu Zhou frowned deeply and directly grabbed hold of Zhao Yu. His vital energy flowed along his arm and entered Zhao Yu's meridians. He found that all of her seven channels and eight meridians were controlled by the force of witchcraft. Unlike Ming Shireen, Zhao Yu's entire body was filled with witchcraft power, and it immediately counterattacked against Lu Zhou's energy. The cultivation level of the Brahma Sea Realm appeared extremely weak at this moment. The newly mobilized energy was completely consumed by the force of witchcraft. Xiao Yu's mouth revealed a sinister smile. Finally found you, old man. As her words fell, the witchcraft actually began to corrode towards Lu Zhou's palm through her meridians. There was no panic on Lu Zhou's face. Whether due to willpower or a sense of danger, the state of enlightenment for heavenly writing suddenly appeared. Exceptional power, as if receiving a command, quickly concentrated towards his palm. With a loud bang, it hit directly at Zhao Yu's forehead. She immediately flew backward from the impact. Ming Shireen quickly moved to catch her. Zhao Yu fell to the ground, spitting out a mouthful of fresh blood. The lotus on her forehead also slowly dissipated in the air. She struggled to lift her head, a sinister smile still on her lips. Old man, you're ruthless. After saying these words, she collapsed and fell into unconsciousness. Lu Zhou turned around and walked out of the cave with his hands behind his back. Take her to the South Pavilion. Ming Shireen quickly helped up his junior sister, acknowledging with a word. The lotus on her forehead indeed disappeared, and her energy began to circulate autonomously. He felt a sudden surge of joy. It seems that Zhao Yu's witchcraft has been dispelled. The crowd outside the cave all showed incredulous expressions upon hearing this. The female cultivators from Yan Yu Palace spontaneously started clapping. Hua Wudao couldn't help but exclaim, such wicked witchcraft, yet the sect leader could undo it. Truly eye-opening. Just then, Pan Zhong, out of breath, holding a pile of books, ran from a distance. I found it. I found it. All the texts about this witchcraft are here. Zhou Jifen looked at him speechlessly. By the time you got here, the sun would have already set. Ming Shireen handed Zhao Yu over to the female cultivators, then went to his master's side. Master, was Zhao Yu's junior sister being controlled just now? Lu Zhou nodded. Indeed, she was manipulated through witchcraft. Elder Hua, any suggestions? Hua Wudao expressed his opinion. The witchcraft on Zhao Yu has been lifted. I assume she won't cause any trouble in the short term. The spellcaster likely encountered a backlash when the witchcraft was dispelled. Lu Zhou stroked his beard, continuing to ask Elder Hua, do you know who this person is? Hua Wudao sighed and replied, I've only heard of them. I really want to know. You'd rather stay silent than give up the second prince. Is it truly just for the stability of the great Yan world? Hua Wudao shook his head upon hearing the question. I'm afraid only the sect leader and the second prince would know. The cloud sect indeed has some unspeakable connections with the royal family. Hearing his words, Hua Wudao's face turned red, somewhat embarrassed. Lu Zhou changed the topic and looked towards Lil Yuaner, sent a flying letter to Jian Ijian. The good sword I'm offering should be enough for him to come in person. After Zhao Yu was taken to the South Pavilion, she woke up from her coma not long after. The attending female cultivator showed a look of joy. Miss Fifth, you're awake. Zhao Yu looked around in confusion. What
what happened to me? Wasn't I in the cave of reflection? Hearing her words, the female cultivator then narrated the whole story. Xiao Yu was somewhat incredulous upon hearing it. You're saying Master dispelled the witchcraft binding on me? The female cultivator answered. Yes, Elder Master shattered the witchcraft with just one palm. It was a dreadful spell. Fortunately, Mr. Three and Mr. Four arrived in time. Miss Fifth, Master has instructed that you should rest for a while after the witchcraft has been lifted. Don't worry too much about your cultivation base. It will recover sooner or later. Let me help you take a bath and change your clothes. Xiao Yu nodded and acknowledged with a word. Half a day later, two notification sounds reached Lu Zhou's ears. Ding. Remove the witchcraft restriction on Xiao Yu. Received 1,000 merit points. Ding. Investigation of the true situation in Fish Dragon Village completed. Received 3,000 merit points. After hearing this, Lu Zhou sighed in satisfaction. Side missions are now complete. I need to find other ways to accumulate merit points. At that moment, a female cultivator walked in to report to the master. Jiang Ijian is asking to see you at the foot of the mountain. Lu Zhou immediately ordered to let him come up. Moments later, Jiang Ijian appeared in the evil sky pavilion, led by the female cultivator. Being new here, he curiously looked around, mouth holding a straw. Hey hey, when did you all join evil sky pavilion? Is this place scary? People say it's a den of evil. Aren't you scared? Didn't expect so many women in evil sky pavilion. This tree is nice. These bluestone slabs are also nicely laid. As he walked into the main hall, he finally became a bit more serious. Ming Shireen looked at him with interest. Is this man Jian Ijian? Little Yuaner stormed up and kicked him. It's him. He has such thick skin. Duan Mushing took a few extra looks at him. If Master values him so much, he must be extraordinary. Jian Ijian entered the main hall and immediately bowed. Old seniors, I'm not used to such a grand reception. Hurry up. Give me the good sword so I can quickly leave the mountain. Lu Zhou stroked his beard and pronounced his name. Jian Ijian, sit down and let's talk slowly. Upon hearing this, Pan Zhong immediately brought out a golden toilet. Jian Ijian was somewhat uneasy. This is unnecessary. We're old acquaintances. Just give me the sword and I'll be on my way. After hearing this, Lu Zhou chuckled with a wave of his hand. The female cultivator beside him understood and handed over a long sword. Curious, Jian Ijian picked up the long sword and gently gripped it. Unexpectedly, with a snap, the long sword turned into powder. Come on, senior. Is this the good sword you said was worth me coming in person for? Ming Shireen explained with a smile. This sword is the best in Evil Sky Pavilion. Made from top quality millennium old wood, the patterns were painstakingly carved by the master. Do Duan Mushing continued, all the disciples of Evil Sky Pavilion have trained with this sword. Even the sword demon Yu Shanrong has used it to kill thousands of enemies. Jian Ijian was speechless. This is just a scam. You're making a wooden sword sound so magnificent. Who can I complain to? Senior, I feel really cold right now. Lu Zhou casually asked with a smile. This is indeed a good sword. Don't you want it? Jian Ijian almost burst into tears. Senior, you said that you hate dishonest people the most. No matter how you sugarcoat it, this wooden sword can't be considered a treasure. I love swords, but I'm not an idiot. I don't want this sword. You really don't want it. Jian Ijian shook his head decisively. No, I don't. Then you have to compensate. Lu Zhou teasingly looked at him. Jian Ijian realized what he meant and immediately broke into a cold sweat. This sword is extremely valuable to my evil sky pavilion. Yet you destroyed it. If you don't compensate for it, I'm afraid. Lu Zhou didn't finish the sentence. Duan Musheng, Ming Shireen, and Little Yuan are menacingly gripped their weapons. Seeing them approach step by step, Jian Ijian quickly waved his hands. No, I'll compensate for the sword. Isn't that enough? How much do I need to pay? Ming Shireen chuckled. Can this be measured with money? Then what do you suggest? Should I find a craftsman to replicate one for you? That won't do. It has to be that original wooden sword. Jian Ijian pondered for a moment. I get it. Senior, you're setting me up. Let's get straight to the point. Lu Zhou slowly got up and moved closer. I enjoy dealing with intelligent people. Jian Ijian sighed helplessly. If I were intelligent, I wouldn't have fallen for your scheme. Lu Zhou calmly looked at him, his tone chilling. You've repeatedly used me to eliminate obstacles in the palace. Jian Ijian, you're the first person person who dares to act recklessly in front of me. Hearing this, Jian Ijian's face changed dramatically. He hurriedly stepped back. He immediately turned and fled towards the exit of the hall. However, a bald elder slowly walked in at that moment. A protective shield emanating from him blocked Jian Ijian's path. Cloud Sex Hua Wudao. It's a misunderstanding, senior. All a misunderstanding. Jian Ijian nervously explained with a smile. Little Yuaner, wielding her spike club, was ecstatic. Quick, lock the door. Let's see where he can run to. Senior brother, grab him and give him a good beating. Jian Ijian Jian kept pleading with a gloomy face. Ah, my goodness, I have no grudge against you. Why resort to blades and swords? At this moment, Lu Zhou slowly approached him. So, you're the Jian Ijian who's reputed to love swords to the bone, considering them as important as life itself? One of the three great swordsmen? Jian Ijian scratched his head awkwardly and replied, It's just a reputation. Just a reputation. Lu Zhou gave him a meaningful look. Jian Ijian, your reputation is just a cover. Who would have thought that such a maverick in the cultivation world would be the third prince of the Great Yan Empire? The moment the these words were spoken. The Hall of Evil Sky Pavilion fell silent. How could such
such a cowardly, slick-tongued, and peculiar person be the third prince of the great Yan? Not a single aspect of him resembles royalty. As the master's eyesight deteriorated, though the disciples had doubts, they kept their mouths shut. Pan Zhong looked curiously at the female cultivator beside him. Why are you blushing? Jian Ijin snapped out of his daze. Senior, you're joking. How could someone like me be the third prince? Seeing his refusal to admit, Lu Zhou gave a faint smile. My mischievous disciple, Yi Tianqin, spent five years investigating palace records. He found that the mastermind behind it all was me. How did you, an independent cultivator, manage this? Jian Ijian honestly replied, I have friends in the palace. Hua Wudao pressed on. What kind of friend can access such confidential matters? Jian Ijian was at a loss for words and didn't know how to explain. Hua Wudao then bowed slightly. Your Highness. Jian Ijian reflexively responded, You may rise. Realizing his slip of the tongue, he hurriedly slapped his thigh. It's a misunderstanding. All a misunderstanding. All right. Lu Zhou stood with his hands behind his back, not looking at him anymore. I have all the time in the world. I'm not worried you won't admit it. Jian Ijian clearly understood the implication. How could you do this, senior? After all the hard work I've put into passing messages to evil Sky Pavilion. Ming Shireen raised an eyebrow upon hearing this. Enough of your nonsense. If you're the prince, then the obstacles evil Sky Pavilion has cleared are your obstacles as well. You're essentially using evil Sky Pavilion. Who would dare to do such a thing? Even the underworld sect master Yu Zhenghai didn't dare to exploit evil Sky Pavilion when he wanted to expand his sphere of influence. Upon hearing this, Jian Ijian quickly waved his hands. It's a misunderstanding. You've misunderstood me. I told Senior that I detest the palace intrigues and deceptions. That's why I left the palace. Regardless of how many obstacles Senior clears, I can't return to my status as a prince. So why then do you still maintain contact with the palace? Upon hearing this, Jian Ijian sighed helplessly. Although I am a prince, I have some close friends, and not to be mocked, but I yearn for an ordinary life. However, in this great Yan world, it's difficult to isolate oneself from all these matters. So I had to assume the name Jian Ijian and live freely as an independent cultivator. Upon hearing this, Hua Wudao respectfully responded, The three sword fanatics are all at the nascent divinity tribulation realm. Your Highness, to achieve such cultivation level while being an independent cultivator is truly admirable. Jian Ijian shook his head. It's all just empty titles. Lu Xiu continued to question. Very well. If you have no ulterior motives, why did you betray your own brother? The mastermind behind Fish Dragon Village is the second prince. And you're the third. You didn't just fail to protect your own sibling. You stabbed him in the back. Who would believe you had no personal agenda? Upon hearing this, Jian Ijian bitterly smiled. The most heartless people in the world are princes. Inside the palace walls, apart from etiquette and rules, there's only power and status. There's no such thing as familial love. Lu Zhou stroked his beard and looked at him. Back to the main point. Do you know why I'm investigating the fish dragon village? Jian Ijian answered with doubt. For your sixth disciple? It's more than that. Do you know Ding Fanqiu? Upon hearing the name Ding Fanqiu, Hua Wudao furrowed his brow. Ding Fanqiu is a person from my cloud sect. As soon as he finished speaking, Ming Shireen gave him a stern look. Elder Hua, mind your current status and how you speak. Ding Fanqiu has been impersonating my master and causing trouble, tarnishing the reputation of both my master and evil Sky Pavilion. According to our rules, he should have been thrown into the back mountain and fed to the beasts long ago. Hua Wudao's face turned red, and he didn't say anything more. Lu Zhou paused before continuing. Ding Fanqiu has informed me that the true aim of Fish Dragon Village at the Sky Crossing River is to find a special bone. Is this true? Jian Ijian scratched his head. Lu Zhou stared straight at him. Do you think I'm easy to deceive? Feeling somewhat awkward under his gaze, he replied. Elder, since you already know, why bother asking? The palace has been dredging up sunken corpses from the Sky Crossing River for the past 10 years. In your opinion, has anything been found? Upon hearing Lu Zhou's question, Jian Ijian responded, Nothing has been found. What is this special bone? Jian Ijian hesitated, seemingly uncomfortable speaking about it with so many people listening. You should understand, at this point, there's no use in hiding anything. He then abandoned his nonchalant demeanor and became serious. I have no reason to lie to you, Elder. To be honest, I've been away from the palace for many years. Many people have probably forgotten about me, and most of my friends within the palace are likely gone. In a few more years, the world might completely forget about the third prince. To investigate the matter at Sky Crossing River, two people were hacked to death indiscriminately, but that's on them for their lack of skills. My second brother is cruel by nature and unsuitable to be the ruler of a country. Upon hearing this, Lu Zhou calmly responded, I believe you. Then in your opinion, could this special bone be the bone of the white citizen? No longer concealing his thoughts, Jian Ijin spoke. There are rumors within the palace that the bone of the white citizen can break the limits of one's lifespan, but I don't think so. If that were the case, what's the point of dredging for the past 10 years? The focus of the dredging might have shifted from the bone of the white citizen to something else. Elder, I've said all that needs to be said. I do have some selfish motives, and I can do without this fine sword. After hearing this, Lu Zhou shook his head. I've said it before, I detest people who don't keep their promises. Since I promised you a fine sword, I shall deliver. Saying so, he threw a 
royal token into Jian Ijian's hands. Jian Ijian's eyes widen in confusion. A royal token? Lu Xiu gave him a meaningful look. Correct. The fine sword I am bestowing upon you is this royal token. Jian Ijian became puzzled. This item would be quite useful for people within the palace. Wouldn't it be a waste to give it to me? I value my life. I wouldn't dare use this to command others. Lu Xiu then explained. While it appears to be a royal token, it is actually the key to the royal treasury. Otherwise, why would the royal family continue to preserve its significance for so many years? Upon hearing this, Jian Ijian snapped the token in half. Sure enough, a key with dragon carvings fell out. Elder, you're trying to get me killed. No guilt lies with the innocent. Only guilt lies with the possession. If people in the palace find out I have this, won't they all come after me? Lu Xiu stroked his beard and calmly spoke. It's most suitable for you to keep this item. You are a prince and a sword lover. Only you can get close to the inner treasury. Don't reject it hastily. What I want to tell you is, there is a fine sword stored there. Named Dragon Roar Sword. Dragon Roar Sword? Hearing these three words, Jian Ijian was visibly shaking in excitement. A look of astonishment appeared on Hua Wudao's face. Dragon Roar Sword has been famous for hundreds of years. It's a heavenly tier weapon. Its sharpness surpasses others of the same rank. Many in the cultivation world have been searching for it. It later disappeared from the realm of cultivation. I didn't expect that this fine sword would actually be in the palace. No wonder, no wonder. Little Yuan or curiously asked Elder Hua, is this sword really that great? A glint of gold appeared in Hua Wudao's eyes as he replied, of course it's great. Among heavenly tier weapons, it is also a divine artifact. Weapons that reach the heavenly tier usually need to acknowledge a master to unleash their full power. Dragon Roar Sword is different. To this day, no one has successfully acknowledged it as their master. That is to say, Dragon Roar Sword hasn't yet unleashed its full potential. What's certain is, it won't be weaker than the average heavenly tier weapon. Upon hearing this, Little Yuaner said, Master, we can't let him have it too cheaply. Jian Ijian quickly pocketed the key and cheekily said, No, no, Elder, I absolutely love this. If you need something in the future, I'll be even more enthusiastic than before. Well, I'm very satisfied with this, so my trip here was worth it. Everyone, I have other matters to attend to. I'll be taking my leave. He waved his hand and turned to walk out of the hall. But at that moment, Lu Zhou called out to him, Pass along a message for me. Wei Zhuiyan is the chief culprit behind the Sky Crossing River incident. I want him to personally admit his guilt. The hall suddenly fell silent upon hearing these words. Jian Ijian stopped in his tracks, his face showing difficulty. Elder, you must be joking. Wei Zhuiyan commands a heavy army and is a crucial minister of the state. Asking him to admit guilt could cause chaos in the nation. Moreover, his cultivation is extremely high. Rumors suggest that he's as capable as the head of the Black Knights, Fan Xiuwen. He has many allies within the palace. Making him admit guilt would probably be even harder than ascending to heaven. Lu Zhou's expression remained unchanged. When one rises to a certain position, even if they do something wrong, they won't admit it. I understand this principle. Unfortunately, I don't like it. Are you not afraid of offending the second prince? Creating so many formidable enemies is not beneficial for Golden Court Mountain. I know that evil Sky Pavilion has extraordinary strength, but all the land under heaven belongs to the king. If the entire cultivation world has maintained its current stability, then the royal family must have its means as well. Upon hearing this, Lu Zhou shook his head and spoke. You are wrong. Wei Zhuiyan will die sooner or later. He's just choosing how. Jian Ijian stood still, pondering for a moment. I will pass along the message. Before leaving, he wanted to know how Lu Zhou had seen through his identity. However, after thinking about it, he decided not to ask. Never mind. It's not important. Farewell. After saying these words, he turned around and left without looking back. Ming Shireen bowed slightly. Master, although this man is unbridled and doesn't act like a prince, I think he is quite talented. Why not keep him? Lu Zhou waved his hand in response. No need. He has other uses. At this point, Hua Wudao stepped forward. Master, I have something to say, but I'm not sure if it's appropriate. Upon hearing this, Lu Zhou raised an eyebrow. Mind your status. My tolerance has limits. Hearing this, Hua Wudao immediately nodded, not daring to say more. Ming Shireen chuckled and looked at him. Elder Hua, you are no longer part of the cloud sect. You are now an elder of evil Sky Pavilion, a position many would seek but cannot have. If you want to change your mind, you can leave at any time. Decide whether you're a friend or foe. As his words fell, Duan Mushing raised his overlord spear and slammed it down, creating another hole in the newly laid cobblestone floor. Those with ulterior motives will be executed. Lu Zhou glanced at Hua Wudao indifferently. Had it not been for seeing that he had five points of loyalty, his earlier defense for Ding Fanxiu would have made Lu Zhou intolerant of him. Seeing his rigid expression, Lu Zhou casually remarked, the six union seal is powerful, but not perfect. Hua Wudao, who was already obsessed with cultivation, immediately brightened up upon hearing this. Please enlighten me, master. Lu Zhou then asked him how many leaves his avatar had opened. Hua Wudao replied that he had made no progress in 20 years, and was still at six leaves. Upon hearing this, Duan Mushing and Ming Shireen were momentarily stunned. No wonder their alternating attacks could not break Hua Wudao's defense. Such a high-level expert, even without using the six union seal, his protective aura alone was more than they could break. Lu Zhou spoke 
spoken differently. The North Pavilion has the scriptures of the Six Union Seal and the scriptures of the Six Leaf Avatar. Elder Hua is free to consult them. Hua Wudao immediately bowed respectfully. Thank you, Master. People always say that the Evil Sky Pavilion hides many treasures, whether it's scriptures or weapons. They are the goals pursued by cultivators. In the past, Orthodox Taoism and Heaven Sword Sect took advantage of the broken barrier to search everywhere just for these treasures. Just as the hall was returning to calm, two female cultivators from Yanyu Palace rushed in hurriedly. Master, Yi Tianxin has regained consciousness. I'm afraid. I'm afraid it's not good. Upon hearing this, Lu Zhou immediately went to the South Pavilion with several of his disciples. The female cultivators waiting at the door saw him and immediately knelt to pay their respects. Greetings, Master. Lu Zhou didn't pay attention to them and walked straight in after pushing open the door. At that moment, Yi Tianxin was lying flat on the bed, her skin and hair utterly pale. Seeing her master arrive, she hurriedly tried to get up from the bed but accidentally fell to the floor. Struggling, she managed to crawl up to Lu Zhou and called out, Master. Lu Zhou looked at her impassively. Do you already know what has transpired? I'm aware that my sins are too heavy to be redeemed. Yi Tianxin managed to say before breaking into a severe cough. Bright red blood splattered on the floor. The female cultivators nearby hurriedly rushed to support her. Master, I have one request. I want to kill Wei Zhuiyan with my own hands to avenge Fish Dragon Village. After that, I will atone with my death. Lu Zhou looked at her indifferently. With your cultivation destroyed, how can you kill Wei Zhuiyan? Yi Tianxin was left speechless, her face becoming even more ashen. Given her current state, not to mention going up against the highly skilled Wei Zhuiyan, she would struggle even against ordinary people. If it weren't for the meticulous care from the Yanyu Palace's female cultivators, who knows what state she'd be in by now. You betrayed your master, sullied the reputation of evil Sky Pavilion, and committed numerous sins. Do you have anything to say? Lu Zhou asked, listening to this. The people on the side scratched their heads. Master, do you even have a reputation to worry about? Yi Tianxin knelt on the ground and replied respectfully, I have nothing to say. In that case, I will grant you a swift death, Lu Zhou said, suddenly raising his hand and striking directly towards Yi Tianxin. This sudden change caught everyone in the room off guard. A gentle aura then struck Yi Tianxin's chest. Had this been in the past, such a small amount of aura wouldn't have harmed her, but she was now devoid of any cultivation. This slap was enough to end her life. Yi Tianxin fell to the ground with a thud, her pupils gradually dilating. Lu Zhou spoke softly, pick her up. Hearing this, the two female cultivators hurriedly stepped forward and lifted Yi Tianxin back onto the bed. Through his earlier action, Lu Zhou found that indeed, there was not a trace of elemental energy in Yi Tianxin's Dantian and Qi Si. He then raised his hand to touch her forehead. People around him immediately knelt and begged for mercy. However, Lu Zhou wasn't punishing Yi Tianxin. Instead, he gently placed his hand on her forehead. A faint elemental energy flowed around her body. Little Yuan was a bit curious. Why did Master do that? Ming Shireen glanced at the situation inside the room, then took them outside. He sighed. Tianxin Jr.'s sister was always fated for hardship. She joined Evil Sky Pavilion without fear, and although her natural talent was average, her cultivation advanced rapidly. Probably, the massacre at Fish Dragon Village was one of her motivations. Despite her cold and heartless nature, she never complained about Master's harshness. Hence, Master bestowed upon her the emotional ring, which isn't actually emotional, but symbolizes hatred. Little Yuan muttered, I still don't get it. Ming Shireen shook his head. The reason Tianxin Jr.'s sister could reach such levels of cultivation was her white citizen talent. White citizens have had extraordinary talents for cultivation since ancient times. The outcome of Master's slap is uncertain. If Master really wanted to kill her, he could have done it when he caught her. Why wait till now? If Tianxin Jr.'s sister dies, it's her own fault. Such is the fate of those who betray their master and the evil Sky Pavilion. If she doesn't die, it means her destiny isn't over yet. Duan Mushin questioned curiously. Are you suggesting that white citizens might have a special life-saving ability? Ming Shireen frowned. Perhaps. I don't know much about white citizens. At that moment, Lu Zhou slowly walked out of the room. Life and death are fated. Wealth and status are determined by the heavens. He left this phrase and walked away. Ming Shireen, not feeling reassured, entered the room and checked Yi Tianxin's pulse, only to find no sign of life or a heartbeat. Could she really be dead? He infused his elemental energy into Yi Tianxin's body. But no matter how much energy he poured into her, she remained unresponsive, like a rock, blocking all the energy. He hurriedly turned to the two female cultivators. Did Master say anything when he was leaving? The two female cultivators honestly replied. The Master said that life and death are fated, and wealth and status are in the heavens. Whether she can live or not now depends on her own fate. Hearing this, Ming Shireen muttered, so it is. Meanwhile, in General Changming's mansion, a guard brought in a letter from the palace. General, a letter from the palace insists that you must open it yourself. Wei Zhuiyan took the letter and read it carefully. After reading, he was so furious that he smashed the table with a palm. How dare they? A mere practitioner of witchcraft dares to command me. The general, unbelievable. The guard cautiously asked, General, what has angered you so much? Wei Zhuiyan waved his hand and instructed.
interrupted, reply to them for me. Tell them I am aware of the matter and will not be attending any banquets henceforth. Time passed quickly, and it was soon evening. After returning to Evil Sky Pavilion, Lu Zhou picked up Nameless and started hacking at a mysterious box. But after hacking for quite a while, only temporary marks appeared on the box, which then returned to their original state. The box's durability surpassed his understanding. Is a specific key needed? He wondered. Lu Zhou then inserted Nameless into the groove on the top of the box. However, the next second, Nameless was repelled out. Frustrated, Lu Zhou started slamming the box onto the ground. Outside the chamber, his three disciples looked at each other. Is Master angry again? With all that's happened recently, it's normal for Master to be angry. Senior brother, is Tianxin's senior sister really alright? I can't be sure. Master said it depends on her own fate. The stone door of the chamber slowly opened, and Lu Zhou walked out holding the box. Ming Shireen, among you, you're the one who usually has the most ideas. This box is extremely mysterious. I'm entrusting it to you. Figure out a way to open it. After receiving the box, Ming Shireen grinned. I absolutely love simple tasks like this. Lu Zhou gazed into the distance, lost in thought. My current merit points stand at 8,762. It seems like a high number, but it's far from enough to buy a hexagram separation and convergence avatar. I used to rely on constantly buying talisman cards to save my life, but now that the prices of these cards are going up, I need to focus more on improving my cultivation level. Relying on these disciples for tasks like assassinating Wei Zhuiyan still seems a bit far-fetched. How much have you three improved in your cultivation recently? Upon hearing his master's question, Duan Mushin quickly responded, My heavenly one decree has made some progress, and I expect to break through to a two-leaf avatar within a month. Ming Shireen followed up, saying, I'm currently at a one-leaf avatar level. Lu Zhou eyed him, are you hiding anything? Remembering that Ming Shireen had concealed his strength when facing off against Zhang Chiuqi. Master, every word I've said is true. I wouldn't dare hide anything, Ming Shireen replied. Lu Zhou nodded and turned to little Yuaner, whose cheeks were flushed as she stammered. I'm at the peak of the divine court realm. Then she knelt down. I will strive to step into the nascent divinity tribulation realm as soon as possible. Of the nine disciples, apart from Old Eighth and Old Fifth, only little Yuana remained in the Divine Court realm. She herself felt ashamed. To have a solid standing in the cultivation world, one needs at least a five-leaf or even six-leaf cultivation level. Now the strongest among them was Duan Musheng, who was close to a two-leaf level, which paled in comparison to Ding Fancho's five-leaf, Fan Xiuwen's eight-leaf, and Hua Wudao's six-leaf levels. Pondering all this, Lu Zhou simply stated, You all need to put in more effort in your cultivation. The three disciples responded in unison. We will follow your command, master. At this moment, Zhao Yu slowly walked in from outside. She knelt down respectfully. I have sinned and am here to see master. Lu Zhou leaned in closer and had her lift her head. He noticed that the golden lotus on her forehead had disappeared. I'm grateful for master's grace. Currently, my cultivation is recovered by 20%. It will take a month to fully recover. I know I've made mistakes and beg master for a chance to redeem myself by performing a meritorious service. After hearing Zhao Yu, Lu Zhou spoke slowly. I'll give you a chance to redeem yourself for your past wrong. Thank you, master. I will not let you down, Zhao Yu replied gratefully. In the next few days, write down all the techniques you've learned from me and present them, Lu Zhou instructed. Upon hearing this, everyone looked puzzled but still chanted in unison, as you command, master. Lu Zhou took this approach because he wasn't sure if what his disciples had learned was the complete technique. The missing part of his memory might very likely be related to them. If the techniques he passed on were incomplete, it would greatly hinder their cultivation progress. After saying this, he dismissed them. On the way back, the four disciples disciples exchanged glances. Duan Mushing scratched his head. Old Fourth, you're smart. What's Master playing at this time? Ming Shireen, toying with the box in his hand, replied, How should I know? I find researching this box more interesting than writing down techniques. Xiao Yu sighed. Regardless, Master has indeed changed a lot. Fifth Junior Sister, you're luckier than Tianxin Junior Sister. Her life hangs in the balance, and it's uncertain whether she will survive. Upon hearing this, Xiao Yu asked in surprise, What happened to Tianxin Junior Sister? She's fallen into a deep sleep. Better not ask too much. Even I can't guess what Master is thinking, answered Ming Shireen. Didn't you say Master is simple-minded? Now even you can't guess? Shush, third senior brother. I never said that. Master is actually very clever, Ming Shireen quickly retorted. Little Yuaner, as if she had caught on to something, exclaimed, Ah, I get it, you're saying Master is stupid. Seeing this, Ming Shireen, feeling guilty, quickly left with the box, muttering, It's not the godlike opponents that are to be feared, pig-like teammates. Arriving at a secluded spot on the back mountain, he placed the box on a stone and began to examining it carefully. This box was unlike any he had seen before. There were no seams, no openings, and no lid. It was just a square box. No matter what kind of box you are, you're no match for a heavenly grade weapon. Ming Shireen mused as he prepared to open the box. Pondering this, Ming Shireen took up the separation hook and swung it forcefully. Sparks flew, but both the separation hook and the box remained intact. His eyes widened as he continued his investigation. I must be stupid, 
Anything Master gives me can't be that simple, he thought to himself. Moonlight fell on the box, revealing a special pattern that looked somewhat like his separation hook. Curious, he placed the separation hook into the pattern's indentation, only to find that the weapon got stuck. This can't be happening, he muttered to him. The separation hook was invaluable, and he couldn't afford any mishaps. He grabbed it and shook it vigorously, smashing the surrounding rocks, but the weapon remained stuck. Could it be that Master regrets giving me this weapon and is trying to take it back? Ming Shireen felt almost like crying. Just then, Duan Mushing walked up, holding his overlord spear. Junior brother, what are you doing? I've been looking for you. Pointing at the box, Ming Shireen replied in frustration. Senior brother, I'm afraid I can't train with you anymore. My separation hook is stuck. Duan Mushing looked unimpressed. It's just a box. Stand back. He swung the overlord spear and stabbed it into the box, only to feel numbness in his arms while the box remained unscathed. Ming Shireen pointed to a round indentation on the side. What's this? Senior brother, why don't you try inserting your overlord spear into it? Without wasting any time, Duan Mushing thrust his overlord spear into the round indentation. A snap sound followed, and the spear had got stuck as if triggering a mechanism. The next moment, both weapons were ejected from the box. Ming Shireen rushed forward and caught the separation hook. I get it now. This box from Master can only be opened if we place all our weapons into these slots. This is the Green Jade Sword. This is the Longevity Sword. This is the Emotional Ring. And this is the Peacock Feather. He continued, listing the names of other weapons that might fit the remaining indentations. Duan Mushing looked on in amazement. Such a finely crafted box. I wonder who the mastermind behind its design is. I have no idea, but at least we've discovered how to open it. Though, knowing that doesn't really help. Peacock Feather is with Seventh Junior Brother, and Green Jade Sword and Longevity Sword are with Eldest Senior Brother and Second Senior Brother. There's probably no one in the world who could convince them to willingly part with their weapons. Ming Shireen sighed. I wouldn't dare approach Eldest Senior Brother and Second Senior Brother either. I'll report the truth to Master later, he added. Upon hearing this, Duan Mushing chuckled. Master is still resting. How about we do some training? Ming Shireen was somewhat speechless. Third senior brother, I'd recommend Elder Hua. Even when he was holding back, you couldn't break his defensive technique. Are you convinced? Plus, he's a six-leaf expert. He'd make an excellent sparring partner for you. Duan Mushing's eyes lit up. Makes sense. I'll go find Elder Hua right away. At this moment, the sleeping Elder Hua Wudao sneezed for no apparent reason. The next day quickly arrived, and Lu Zhou gathered everyone to play a game of his own invention, flying chess. However, his luck didn't seem to be with him. Just as he was about to lose, Ming Shireen arrived holding the box. Master, I've found the secret to opening the box. Six different weapons need to be placed into the indents on the box. Master, third senior brother and I were able to open this gap by combining our weapons. I estimate it needs two more gaps to be fully opened. Lu Zhou nodded and praised. Well done. Ming Shireen grinned. Thank you for the compliment, Master. Lu Zhou had previously considered this. Even changing the shape of Nameless was not successful. Clearly, there were no loopholes to exploit. To open the box, we'll need weapons like the Green Jade Sword and the Longevity Sword. However, the individuals who possess these items have already left the evil Sky Pavilion, so relying on them isn't realistic, Lu Zhou pondered. Just then, Zhao Yu spoke up. Master, to open this mysterious box, I believe Fourth Brother would be the best choice. Why do you think so? Lu Zhou asked. Peacock Feather is in the hands of Seventh Junior Brother, who is close with Eighth Junior Brother. With Fourth Brother's skills, it wouldn't be hard to find Eighth Junior Brother. Once we find Seventh Junior Brother, given his cunning, it wouldn't be difficult to get in touch with Eldest Senior Brother and Second Senior Brother. I believe they'll also be curious about what's inside the box, and will try to open it at that time. Zhao Yu reasoned. Standing aside, Ming Shireen was somewhat speechless. Master, this matter requires careful consideration. Eldest Senior Brother and Second Senior Brother are formidable and unpredictable. What if they try to kill me to seize the box? Lu Zhou shook his head and gave a slight smile. Yu Hai and Yu Shangrong, although they are renegades, have been tolerant towards you junior brothers and sisters. The evil Sky Pavilion has never had incidents of internal strife. I believe they will not harm you. Upon hearing this, Ming Shireen knelt down, his face full of despair. I can't trust that, master. Lu Zhou looked at him intently. There's no need for further debate. Don't disappoint me. Left with no choice, Ming Shireen reluctantly agreed while holding the box. Lu Zhou understood that there was no one more suitable than Ming Shireen. Only he could navigate through the complexities of dealing with these renegades. Anyone with less nerve probably wouldn't be able to handle it. Moreover, in his memory, Yu Hai and Yu Shanrong hadn't ever mistreated their junior brothers and sisters. However, this left Lu Zhou pondering with a furrowed brow. What then was the reason for their leaving the evil Sky Pavilion? A female cultivator arrived at the entrance to report, Master, there have been no changes with Yi Tianxin today. Lu Zhou nodded, I understand. Little Yuaner, who was feeding the chickens nearby, couldn't help but ask, Master, will Sister Tianxin really die? Lu Zhou didn't have an answer for this question. If she does die, would you be happy, Master? Upon hearing this, Lu Zhou snorted coldly. Have you all finished copying the techniques I assigned you? Little Yuan or Pao 
shouted. Not yet. Then why are you not doing it? Seeing his displeasure, she immediately stood up and scurried out. Just as she stepped outside, she saw a messenger bird flying towards her. With a swift jump, she caught the flying letter. Master, it's a letter from Jian Ai Jin. Under Lu Zhou's nod, little Yuan Er began to read. Esteemed elder, I have conveyed your message to Wei Zhuiyin. As expected, he didn't take it seriously. Also, you were right. There are important figures within the palace who are not on good terms with Wei Zhuiyin. Lu Zhou nodded after hearing this. It's as I had expected. Wei Zhuiyin holds a significant position as a high-ranking official in Great Yen and controls a large army. It's almost impossible for him to give all this up just because someone tells him to. Little Yuan Er was visibly annoyed. Master, this Wei Zhuiyin is really infuriating. Should I go down the mountain and kill him? Lu Zhou raised an eyebrow and countered. You intend to assassinate a seven-leaf or even an eight-leaf expert in the divine court realm? Little Yuan Er lowered her head. Embarrassed, Wei Zhuiyin is not just a military commander because of his personal cultivation level. The entire system is interconnected. He is different from Fan Xiuwen. Fan Xiuwen came from the blacklist and is just a pawn in the dark. Even if he were to die, the Great Yen royal family wouldn't care too much. Wei Zhuiyin is different. Many people want him dead, but there are also many who don't. Little Yuan Er widened her eyes. So what do we do now? Lu Zhou shook his head. Don't worry. What I want is not just Wei Zhuiyin's life. Half a day later, at the stronghold of the Tiger Ridge Gang, a subordinate rushed to Zhu Honghong. Chief, we have intruders. Zhu Honghong jumped to his feet. What's the panic? Who would dare to trespass the Tiger Ridge Gang while I'm here? Just as he finished speaking, Ming Shireen's voice echoed from outside. Wow, you've become a lot more imposing, haven't you? Turning around, Zhu Honghong saw fourth brother Ming Shireen casually holding the box, instantly appearing inside the cave. Zhu Honghong was so startled that he he knelt immediately, his previous bravado gone. Senior brother, why are you here? Ming Shireen smirked, why can't I be here? Have you decided to join my Tiger Ridge gang? Great, from now on, you'll be the leader, and I'll give you the title of Evil King and be your second in command. Seeing his fawning attitude, Ming Shireen shook his head, cut it out. I'm not leaving the evil Sky Pavilion. I'm here on a mission. Xu Honghong grew nervous upon hearing this. What mission? You're not here to clean house, are you? Ming Shireen looked at him with a mocking expression. I really don't understand. How could someone as timid as you dare to leave evil Sky Pavilion? Pavilion. You don't have eldest senior brother's cultivation, you lack second senior brother's audacity, and you don't have seventh junior brother's intelligence. So what do you have? Just a lot of body fat? Xu Honghong felt a bit embarrassed. Senior brother, don't be so hard on me. I'm actually quite smart. Ming Shireen was somewhat speechless. You, smart? Come on. If it weren't for my smartness, master would have caught me back at the green jade altar that day. You give yourself too much credit. Master just thinks you're more trouble than you're worth. If it was old seventh, do you think master would hesitate to act, realizing he'd been exposed? Exposed. Zhu Honghong quickly changed the subject. Fourth brother, since you're not here to catch me, what brings you here? I'll do my best to assist you. Ming Shireen pointed to the box next to him. Master has a mysterious box that can only be opened with the weapons of seventh junior brother, eldest senior brother, and second senior brother. Seventh junior brother is elusive, so I had to come to you. It's just a damn box. I could break it open with a single strike. Why would we need heavenly weapons? Zhu Honghong said, pulling out a large saber from a subordinate standing next to him. Ming Shireen didn't stop him. Watch with interest instead. With a loud clang and sparks flying, the saber snapped in two, the blade bouncing back and impaling the nearby subordinate. Xu Honghong's eyes widened in disbelief. My god, what kind of box is this? How is it so sturdy? Ming Shireen looked at him leisurely. If I knew, would I need to come to you? Xu Honghong was puzzled. Evil Sky Pavilion is declining, and the cultivation world is waiting for Master to pass on. When that happens, all the treasures in Evil Sky Pavilion will be plundered. Why not take the chance to rebel? Before he could finish, Ming Shireen angrily interrupted. Shut up, you treacherous, disrespectful scum. It's one thing for you to betray evil Sky Pavilion, but to criticize Master behind his back. What has Master ever done to wrong you? Xu Honghong was frightened and knelt down again, scratching his head as he thought carefully. Well, I've been beaten up a lot, but other than that, I don't really harbor any resentment. Ming Shireen gave him a disappointed look. Do you know what happened to your sixth senior sister? Her cultivation has been ruined, and her life is in jeopardy. Listen to me. Don't go against Master. I can understand you're leaving evil Sky Pavilion, but if you do anything to betray Master, Master, I won't let you off easily. Seeing Ming Shireen's icy stare, Zhu Honghong hurriedly raised his hand to swear, Senior brother, I swear, I've never done anything to betray Master since leaving Evil Sky Pavilion. As for the kidnapping case of the CI family you asked me to investigate, I've already found out that someone was framing Tiger Ridge Gang. It wasn't us. Ming Shireen raised an eyebrow. I didn't ask you about your little junior sister's family matters. Why are you so eager to clear your name? Hearing this, Zhu Honghong looked downcast, unsure of what to say. Alright, I know you didn't have anything to do with the CI family's situation. You don't have the guts anyway. Fourth brother is so understanding. Has Master said anything? Master hasn't even given you a second thought. So don't flatter yourself. Back to the matter at hand. You saw the box. Do you know where old seventh is? Fourth brother, you must be joking. How would I know where seventh junior brother is? 
Once, however, you could try looking in Sleeping Dragon. They say the headquarters of the Dark Net is there. Old Eighth, you didn't used to play mind games like this. Are you trying to set me up? As he spoke, applause suddenly emanated from behind the folding screen, and Si Wuya slowly walked out from behind it. Seeing this, Ming Shireen glared at Old Eighth, and you said you didn't know. Si Wuya stepped forward and greeted with a bow. Greetings, fourth brother. Ming Shireen looked at him with furrowed brows. Although Si Wuya was his junior brother, his nonchalant demeanor was somewhat annoying. Smart people are hard to manage. He preferred the company of Old Eighth. Old Seventh, you really are scheming, eavesdropping from behind for so long. Si Wuya gave a slight smile as he walked to the stone table. Fourth brother, you jest. I've been with Tiger Ridge Gang all this time. It's common for senior and junior brothers to visit each other and catch up. I just didn't expect you to honor us with your presence. Since you've heard it all, I won't beat around the bush. May I borrow your peacock feather? Hearing this, Si Wuya's gaze fell upon the mysterious box, sizing it up. This is the first time I've seen such an extraordinary box. But knowing Master, having such an item is not surprising. You may borrow the peacock feather, but there are a few things I want to discuss honestly with you. Fourth brother, Ming Shireen was extremely cautious. That won't be necessary. We're not the same, you and I. If you're willing to lend it, that's best. Come, place the peacock feather in this slot. Si Wuya chuckled lightly. Long time no see. Fourth brother, you've become much more cautious than before. With that, he took out the peacock feather. The feather floated above his hand, rotating 360 degrees. Xu Hong Hong watched with envy. If only I could have a heavenly tier weapon someday. Si Wuya looked meaningfully at Ming Shireen. If what's inside the box is something that can control both you and me, would you still open it? Ming Shireen paused, his eyes piercing into Si Wuya. I've always been curious. Why did eldest senior brother, second senior brother, and you suddenly leave evil Sky Pavilion? Hearing this question, Si Wuya put away the peacock feather and smiled faintly. Fourth brother, if someone held a knife to your neck and you couldn't fight back, would you run? Evil Sky Pavilion has too many enemies. Ever since the top 10 experts besieged Golden Court Mountain, everyone has been waiting for Master's End. Even if eldest senior brother and second senior brother hadn't left, we couldn't have stopped the swarm that would follow. Ming Shireen snorted coldly. Those people are not even worth comparing to locusts. Do you have so much confidence in our master? Silence. Old Seventh, don't forget your identity. I don't blame Old Eighth for being fooled by you momentarily, but can't you distinguish right from wrong, black from white? Si Wuya seemed unperturbed by the rebuke. Fourth brother, since you know I can distinguish black from white, why can't you accept that where I stand might also be the side of white? You're good at sophistry. Regardless, it's an undeniable fact that master has imparted you with your skills. Your praise is too much. Fourth brother, it's hard to imagine that after such a short time apart, you would defend master so vehemently. If you ask me to open this box in the name of a senior brother, I will do so without question. But if it's for other reasons, I can't comply. Seeing that there was no room for negotiation, Ming Shireen wasted no more words. With a flick of his palm, he shattered the table beside him and lunged at Si Wuya like a bolt of lightning. Si Wuya showed no fear and easily parried Ming Shireen's attacks. In the blink of an eye, the hideout was filled with flying debris due to the clash of their energies. Xu Hong Hong watched nervously but dared not intervene. Senior brothers, please stop. If you keep fighting, my little base will be completely destroyed. Si Wuya, still wearing a smile, continuously retreated. Fourth brother, it appears you have broken through to the nascent divinity tribulation realm. Congratulations. Ming Shireen pressed on, his aura raging. You all have committed grave offenses. As a senior brother, it's my duty to clean house. Ming Shireen's feet stomped down as he closed in rapidly. Si Wuya was unfazed, continually blocking his attacks. Fourth senior brother, you've been on the mountain for too long. Even if you've fortunately broken through to the nascent divinity tribulation realm, you've been suppressed for so long you can't handle me. The clash of energies caused the surrounding structures to continuously crumble. Xu Hong Hong watched with a pained expression, completely sidelined as a spectator in this conflict. You're wrong, Ming Shireen said, his eyes icy. The aura around him suddenly surged as he unleashed the separation hook, hurling it at an incredibly odd angle. At the same time, Si Wuya's peacock feather also shone brightly, forming a protective barrier around him from myriad strands of energy. The sound of their collision reverberated endlessly. After the moves were executed, both sides retreated into the air and, as if by mutual agreement, ceased further action. The aura dissipated and calm returned to the area. Si Wuya looked at Ming Shireen's separation hook in surprise. I didn't expect that fourth senior brother not only broke through to the nascent divinity tribulation realm, but also possesses a heavenly grade weapon. Ming Shireen responded indifferently. That still doesn't compare to seventh junior brother, who has had the peacock feather for quite some time. It's only natural for a senior brother to discipline his junior brother. I apologize for any disrespect. No need to apologize. The box belongs to master, and it requires the weapons of you, eldest senior brother, and second senior brother as keys. Whether to open it or not, I leave the decision to you. Having said that, Ming Shireen grabbed a bun from Zhu Hong Hong and stuffed it into his mouth. Si Wuya took the last bun and asked curiously about the contents of the box. I don't know either, but since master values 
prize this box so much. It must not be an ordinary item. Aren't you afraid that we'll open the box and steal its treasure? Master has already foreseen this. The last key is the emotional ring. Junior's sister Chanchin has already been captured and confined by Master. The emotional ring is in Master's hands, serving as the final step of the key. Si Wuya sighed upon hearing this. I had heard from second senior brother that Master has changed a lot, in both his actions and his temperament. It appears to be true. His gaze then fell back on the mysterious box, praising truly a work of extraordinary craftsmanship. Upon hearing this, Xu Hong Hong perked up immediately. If seventh junior brother praises this, then this thing must be worth a fortune. Si Wuya tapped old eight's head after hearing this. You money grubber. This item is not something that can be measured by money. I can't believe Master has such a magical box. He noted the interconnected slots in the box. If you're not careful, you'll get stuck. With that, he inserted his peacock feather into one of the slots. A crisp click was heard, and the peacock feather was ejected, caught by Si Wuya. The corresponding pattern for the peacock feather then disappeared, indicating that it had served its function as a key. Si Wuya smiled slightly. Fourth senior brother, are you satisfied? Ming Shireen then handed the box to him. This is what you're supposed to do. Additionally, I know only you can get in touch with eldest senior brother and second senior brother. I will leave the box with you and return to old eighth's place in seven days to collect it. Si Wuya shook his head. I can indeed contact eldest senior brother and second senior brother. There's no place in this world that my dark net cannot reach. The problem is, eldest senior brother and second senior brother are not as open-minded as I am. It might be difficult to open this box. At these words, Ming Shireen smirked. Are you that afraid that the box contains something that could be used against you? Si Wuya calmly responded. If I were really afraid, I wouldn't have put down the peacock feather just now. Ignoring his hesitance, Ming Shireen handed over the box. That's good to hear. I believe eldest senior brother and second senior brother will come to their senses. At the very least, master is still alive. The implication being that even if you're not in the evil sky pavilion, he remains your master. If you truly anger him, even if he's at death's door, he might decide to take you down as company on his journey to the underworld. Si Wuya understood the meaning behind these words. Knowing that he couldn't dodge the responsibility, he readily agreed. Fourth senior brother, rest assured, I will convey your message to eldest senior brother and second senior brother. Ming Shireen nodded in satisfaction. Old seventh, did you have a hand in the kidnapping of the CI family? Si Wuya responded indifferently. No, we might be results oriented, but we have our own principles and boundaries. Evil Sky Pavilion has never had internal strife, neither in the past nor in the future. Let's hope so, Ming Shireen said, waving his hand as he walked toward the cave exit. Upon exiting the cave, he vanished into the sky with a flicker of his form. Xu Hong Hong wiped sweat from their faces and slumped to the ground. Si Wuya, however, remained calm. Old Eighth, what's done is done. We can only move forward. Master has roamed the world for many years. He may still have numerous treasures. This box is not simple. Xu Hong Hong got up and asked with curiosity, could it be a weapon? Si Wuya nonchalantly answered, I can't rule out that possibility. But why agree to open the box? If it remains unopened, this treasure could stay sealed forever. Given that Master's time is running out, how long can he use it? Better to let the treasure reappear in the world. Did you notice Fourth Senior Brother's weapon when we were fighting? Xu Hong Hong said he did. I was wondering. Fourth Senior Brother has been an evil sky pavilion for years, yet never fully grasped the blue wood technique. His cultivation has been suppressed, but he still managed to exchange so many moves with Seventh Junior Brother. Is that weapon a heavenly grade? Si Wuya nodded in explanation. Yes. Si Wuya carried the box to the back mountain of the Tiger Ridge Gang and instructed Zhu Hong Hong to keep the matter a secret, so as not to attract the attention of those who might covet the Evil Sky Pavilion. Old Eighth looked puzzled. There are already so many people eyeing the Evil Sky Pavilion. What's the difference if there's one more or one less? Si Wuya shook his head and said, I'm talking about this box. If it truly contains a top-tier treasure, it will inevitably stir up greater strife in the future. Then, he issued an order to head for Anyang. Several cultivators in black robes responded and followed him onto a flying palanquin that floated in midair. As he left, he looked at Old Eighth. Keep a low profile for a while. The collaboration between Demon Slaying Sect and Orthodox Taoism has fallen through. They wouldn't dare mess with Evil Sky Pavilion, so they will target you instead. Hearing this, Zhu Hong Hong shuddered. Senior brother, this was all your idea. Why blame me? Si Wuya calmly looked into the distance. Zhang Yuanshan may openly challenge the Evil Sky Pavilion multiple times, but he's actually very timid and fears death. Otherwise, with his nascent divinity tribulation realm cultivation, wouldn't he have been able to make it back to Green Jade Altar the day you and Master appeared there? Xu Hong Hong scratched his head, puzzled. I still don't see how that's my fault. Si Wuya waved his hand, explaining, people like him have one common trait. They are bullies, but cowards. The flying palanquin slowly moved away. Xu Hong Hong frowned, contemplating Si Wuya's words. In essence, Zhang Yuanshan was saying that Tiger Ridge Gang was easy to bully. Thinking this, he snorted, Old Eighth isn't that easy to push around. An hour later, the flying palanquin gently landed near Anyang. A subordinate approached and reported,
reported. Master, the area has been secured. No one will know of your presence. See, we are nodded. Wait here. I'll return shortly. Master, Senior Sword Demon has been frequenting the markets lately. I'm worried that your sudden visit might upset him. The subordinate expressed his concern. See, we are glanced at him. You've misunderstood second senior brother. I can make my own judgments. Meanwhile, in a tavern in Anyang City, a swordsman in a blue robe, Yu Shangrong, stared into the distance with deep eyes. He poured himself a drink and took a sip. How much longer? Upon hearing this, the waiter nearby trembled and answered, it takes half an hour to get from Qingyang to Anyang. They should have arrived by now. Just as he finished speaking, footsteps suddenly approached. Several cultivators walked straight into Yu Shangrong's private room. Yu Shangrong didn't look at them, simply stating, if you're from the Qingyang bandits, stay. Everyone else can leave. Hearing this, the waiter felt like he had received a pardon and dashed out faster than a rabbit. The cultivators eyed the swordsman in blue with caution, asking, who are you? Instead of answering their question, Yu Shangrong countered, are you all bandits from Qingyang Mountain? The term bandit offended them a bit. We're just trying to make a living. Running this tavern isn't easy. We hope you won't make things difficult for us. Yu Shangrong picked up his cup and drained it in one gulp. In that case, it's simple. I apologize, but you should take care of this yourselves. My sword doesn't like to be stained with the blood of low-level cultivators. Upon hearing this, everyone was startled and immediately stepped back. Who exactly are you? The swordsman in blue set down his cup, revealing a faint smile. I am Yu Shangrong. Sword Demon, the leader of the so-called bandits, was incredibly shocked upon hearing this name. He instinctively turned and tried to run, thinking it would be better to flee first and verify the truth later. However, before he could get far, a barrage of hidden weapons suddenly shot out, nearly turning these low-level cultivators into pincushions. Yu Shangrong shook his head, slightly frowning. Junior brother, you've really ruined my mood for drinking. I genuinely dislike the smell of blood. Si Wuya entered the private room with a smile, a mysterious chest floating beside him. Sorry to disturb senior brother's mood for drinking. I'll invite you to a banquet some other day to make it up to you. If junior brother has this intention, then let it be, replied Yu Shangrong. It's a shame about the bandits, though. I promised to let them sort it out themselves, but it didn't happen. My fault. I shouldn't have interfered. Why would someone as distinguished as senior brother bother with these low-level bandits? Si Wuya inquired. Yu Shangrong answered with a faint smile. Little junior sister is pure and innocent. Her matters are my matters. Si Wuya paused briefly. Second senior brother really dotes on little junior sister. It's not about doting. When eldest senior brother and I left evil Sky Pavilion, little junior sister had not yet joined. Yu Shangrong clarified. That raises my curiosity even more. Why is that? Si Wuya seemed intrigued. I've met little junior sister a few times. I believe she, like me, treats people sincerely. Si Wuya was momentarily speechless. Second senior brother, let's get to the point. He waved his hand, and the mysterious chest landed on the table. This is master's chest. It can only be opened with our weapons as keys. Yu Shangrong looked at the chest and chuckled. Master really has a sense of humor, giving us, his senior and junior disciples, something to do even when he's up on the mountain. Perhaps master wants to use this opportunity to test us. Seventh junior brother, you understand human nature well. Don't you also know what the master is thinking? Si Wuya nodded reluctantly. If it were before, I would have had some confidence in guessing. But recently, I've become less certain. Master is doing the unexpected, first killing the second headmaster of the demon slaying sect, Xuxin Chan, then capturing the leader of the Black Cavalry, Fan Xiuwen. Additionally, he's brought in powerful allies, like high monks from Buddhism, and took in disciples from Clarity Sect and Heaven Sword Sect, Pan Zhong and Zhou Jifeng, respectively. Even Hua Wudao of Cloud Sect disappeared after coming to the mountain. After listening, Yu Shangrong gave Si Wuya a meaningful look. You do seem to lack some confidence, seventh junior brother. Si Wuya's eyes deepened as they gazed in the direction of Evil Sky Pavilion. This information comes from the dark net, but there are many contradictions. For example, the support from the Buddhist monks is not credible. The temple incident was real, and perhaps this monk is our master himself. He's skilled in many arts. If he found a new method, incorporating the best from all might not be out of the question. Second senior brother, it's your call whether to open the chest or not. With master's time running out, if he has found a new way, I'm more inclined to wait and see. Yu Shanrong was silent for a moment before he slowly spoke. I don't like to think too much. Although I sometimes disagree with you, you're probably right about this. Saying this, the long sword with a faint red hue slowly flew out from behind him and inserted into the mysterious chest slot. A series of clicking sounds followed, and the patterns on the chest kept changing. The next second, the longevity sword was ejected and flew back to Yu Shangrong's back. Yu Shangrong was somewhat surprised. The chest didn't open. Si Wuya shook his head. We also need eldest senior brother's green jade sword. Seventh junior brother, you're exceptionally clever. What do you think is in the chest? It's not heavy, so it's not likely to be gold, silver, or any heavy weapons. I hope it's a treasure map. A treasure map? To find something like the bones of white citizen? Yu Shangrong spoke with confusion. The bones of white citizen are a myth. The treasure is real. It's just that no one has found it yet. After 10 years of dredging the palace and finding nothing, the possibility of the bones of white 
Eighth Citizen is almost ruled out. Yu Shanrong sighed. I hope Sixth Junior Sister can get past this obsession. Let's not mention her. She probably can't protect herself now. Given Master's methods, the odds are against her. Yu Shanrong nodded, stood up, and looked out the window. Eldest senior brother is not at Pingda Mountain. He should be in God Capital. Si Wea was slightly startled. Eldest senior brother has always been in seclusion, letting his subordinates complete many tasks. Why would he personally go to such a dangerous place like God Capital this time? Yu Shanrong was calm. I don't like eldest senior brother's way of doing things, which is why I killed Chen Wenjie. But I informed both eldest senior brother and Chen Wenjie in advance. My sword is in front of you. If you stick your neck past it, you're signing your own death warrant. Si Wea didn't know what to say. After a deep sigh, he spoke. You and eldest senior brother have different stances. There is no right or wrong. Seventh junior brother, you've always had a good sense of the big picture. Do you think what eldest senior brother did was right? Si Wea pondered for a moment and replied, eldest senior brother is wrong. Hearing this, Yu Shangrong showed a satisfied smile. Seventh junior brother indeed has an insightful perspective. Just then, squads of soldiers appeared on the streets of Anyang City. Every 50 or so soldiers were flanked by three to five robed cultivators. Yu Shangrong pointed to the long line of soldiers and said, you were right, Wei Zhuiyan has sent people. Si Wea chuckled. Wei Zhuiyan may not agree politically with some, but they're still all in this together. Besides, Wei Zhuiyan is too ugly. Confused, Yu Shangrong inquired, will seventh junior brother take action? Si Wea shook his head. As before, I'll assess the situation first and decide if necessary. Doesn't second senior brother prefer this approach as well? Indeed, seventh junior brother knows me well. Yu Shangrong agreed. In that case, I will head to God Capital. Yu Shangrong raised an eyebrow after hearing this. Send him a message for me. I don't want to get involved in his affairs, but he'd best not meddle in mine. I will deliver the message verbatim, Si Wuya replied, offering a bow of his hand before disappearing from the tavern in a flash. Yu Shangrong glanced at the corpses strewn about haphazardly, muttering to himself, I apologize for unintentionally killing you. Let the debts be paid where they're due. With that, he took a step, and the entire tavern collapsed into ruins. Meanwhile, on a flying carriage, a subordinate from the dark net approached. Master, moments ago, we saw Sword Demon Senior heading towards Golden Court Mountain. Si Wea waved his feather fan. No need to worry. Second senior brother knows what he's doing. Any news from the Sword Saints of the Cloud, Sky, and Luo Sex? Master, Sword Saint Luo Shursan has been silent. We'll report any movements immediately. I believe second senior brother will be very interested in such an opponent. Si Wea said as he gave orders to head to God Capital. Master, God Capital is guarded by Imperial troops. Ordinary flying carriages are not allowed. I'm concerned we'll run into trouble. Si Wea confidently grinned. No worries. I have the prince's token, granting us unobstructed access. Wise, master, let's depart. Meanwhile, inside the evil sky pavilion, Lu Zhou glanced at his system interface. He had 8,962 merit points, still lacking more than 3,000 to purchase the hexagram separation and convergence avatar. He had an illusion that now would be a lucky time to try the lottery. After some hesitation, he made up his mind. Let's try my luck. However, three consecutive thank you for participating messages mercilessly yanked him back to reality. Now completely awake, he noted that his current luck points had accumulated to eight. According to this pattern, there would be a lot of luck points waiting to be accumulated. Never mind, I won't try the lottery anymore. Ming Shireen isn't having an easy time either. The merit points he earned from disciplining old eighth were almost immediately spent. Just then, Duan Mushing and two others hurriedly ran over from outside the evil sky pavilion. Seeing their rushed appearance, Lu Zhou calmly asked, what's the matter? Little Yuan quickly replied, we received a flying letter from Jiang Aijian. It says that Wei Zhuiyan has dispatched approximately 3,000 troops, and they've already passed on Yang. Duan Mushin coldly said, Wei Zhuiyan really doesn't know what's good for him. Not admitting guilt is one thing, but daring to send troops? Master, I request to go down the mountain and annihilate them. Xiao Yu and Little Yuan are also added their voices to the request. Lu Zhou shook his head after hearing this. If Wei Zhuiyan dares to send so many people to Golden Court Mountain, he must be well prepared. Little Yuan are looked somewhat puzzled. Master, is Wei Zhuiyan stronger than the experts from the Ten Great Sects? Lu Zhou explained, it's not about how strong these people are. Even if they send tens of thousands of troops, I wouldn't be concerned. Xiao Yu speculated. So, Master, you mean these people might not be coming to fight? Duan Mushing nodded. That is indeed a possibility. While they were talking, a female cultivator walked in. Master, Mr. Four has returned. Soon after, Ming Shireen jogged over. Master, I made a trip to Tiger Ridge Gang and disciplined that disciple Zhu Hong Hong. Also, I met Old Seventh at Tiger Ridge Gang. He has agreed to open the box, and I will go back to retrieve it in seven days. Should I bring Old Eighth back next time? Lu Zhou shook his head after hearing this. Old Seventh and Old Eighth are close. If we capture Old Eighth, we'll lose the lead on Old Seventh. Old Seventh is coming. Let's keep tabs on him for now. Upon hearing this, Ming Shireen respectfully bowed. Master is truly wise. Lu Zhou then gave him a quick look. Have you met face to face with Old Seventh? Ming Shireen 
nodded. Old Seventh is very cunning. I'm not entirely sure what he's after. Although he's not an evil Sky Pavilion, he's still my junior brother. He's used the peacock feather, and now the box only lacks the weapons of eldest senior brother and second senior brother. With Old Seventh's abilities, that shouldn't be a problem. Lu Zhou naturally knew. This group of misfits is likely coveting the treasures inside the box. Ming Shireen grinned. The box is incredibly mysterious and can't be forcefully opened. The last weapon, the emotional ring, is in Master's hands. They can't take anything from the box. Lu Zhou had already guessed as much. With Old Seventh's cunning, he's unlikely to just leave such a treasure box unattended. The treasures revealed by Evil Sky Pavilion are already abundant. One more or one less won't attract the attention of cultivators worldwide. Instead of letting the treasures remain locked away, it's better to open it. Who could snatch it away from these nine disciples without a detailed plan and scheme? Let's set aside the matter of the box for now, he added. Hearing Master's words, Little Yuaner stepped forward and handed over a handwritten manuscript. Master, this is the cultivation technique that your disciple has transcribed. Please take a look. Lu Zhou then put on his reading glasses and carefully examined it. The Taijing Jade Scroll emphasizes the integration of body techniques and fist techniques, tirelessly channeling the Chi of Heaven and Earth into one's body to enhance one's cultivation level. This technique is an unparalleled one, stealing the essence of Heaven and Earth. Incredibly profound. Fortunately, I have the mnemonics and Chi circulating methods for these techniques memorized. I can tell where there are omissions just by reading through it once. After a careful count, it appears to be missing about 10 crucial lines of the technique. Lu Zhou then asked Lil Yuaner to bring over the writing materials. With pen in hand, he completed the missing portions of the Taijing Jade Scroll. Surprisingly, even with those 10 lines missing, Lil Yuaner had managed to cultivate the incomplete parts through her own talent and practice. Even more astonishing was the fact that she had not fallen into any kind of cultivation madness due to the missing parts. However, I've now completed and refined the technique. Start practicing it from now on, Lu Zhou instructed. Upon hearing her master's words, Lil Yuaner was so moved that tears filled her eyes. Thank you, master. I will live up to your expectations and aim to enter the nascent divinity tribulation realm soon. Zhao Yu and Duan Mushing also handed over their handwritten copies. Ming Shireen didn't want to miss out on this opportunity and quickly went back to make his own transcription. The Heavenly One decree was mostly complete, missing only a few lines. Lu Zhou quickly completed it after a brief glance. As for the Radiant Jade technique, what was missing were key elements. This technique is an authentic, unparalleled cultivation method with profound power. When activated, the skin becomes transparent as jade. Instead of dissipating, the cultivated energy is retained within, allowing the practitioner not only to conserve inner energy but to increase it, achieving a state of ceaseless, boundless, selfless cultivation. That is the final mantra of the Radiant Jade Technique. Lu Zhou completed the missing parts of the Radiant Jade Technique and handed them to Zhao Yu, instructing her to set it aside until her injuries healed. Zhao Yu, excitedly, quickly acknowledged, Disciple obeys. Ding! Complete the Technique's Taijing Jade Scroll. Heavenly One Decree. Radiant Jade Technique. Receive Merit Points 600. Upon hearing the system notification, Lu Zhou was somewhat surprised. Qi Tiandao had always held back when imparting techniques to his disciples. Besides restricting the techniques themselves, there were also personal limitations set on the use of weapons. Now, with these restrictions lifted, his disciples were understandably surprised. After completing the missing parts of their techniques, he put down his brush and said, I've now completed your techniques. Don't disappoint me in your future cultivation. Upon hearing this, the three disciples promptly bowed and said, We will not let Master down. Meanwhile, Si Wei bid farewell to Yu Shangrong and headed for God Capital. Within the territory of God Capital, a massive flying chariot slowly ascended from Prince Qi's mansion, heading towards the outskirts of the capital city. The chariot was surrounded by a multitude of cultivators, serving as its guards. Si Wei watched this spectacle and gave a faint smile. My eldest senior brother is truly bold and highly skilled. Daring to go to Prince Qi's mansion, he thought. One of his subordinates asked, Master, should we follow them? Si Wei shook his head. No need, you all wait here. Saying this, he took the mysterious treasure box in his hand and flew towards the large flying chariot. Although the chariot was massive, it was designed for comfort rather than speed. Standing at the front of the chariot, overlooking the land below, was a middle-aged man with distinct facial features. He was Yu Zhenghai, the number one disciple of the evil Sky Pavilion, and also the current leader of the world's top demonic sect, the Underworld Sect. Master, it takes three hours to get from God Capital to Pingda Mountain. Perhaps you should rest early. The middle-aged man, Yu Zhenghai, responded gravely, it's rare for me to leave Pingda Mountain. Naturally, I want to fully appreciate these magnificent landscapes. Only from atop this flying chariot can I take it all in. When you stand at the highest point, even God Capital can be trampled under your feet. Upon hearing this, the female subordinate replied with a compliment, Master speaks the truth. Yu Zhenghai frowned, no matter what I say to them, they just agree without giving it a thought. Truly uninteresting. Just then, another subordinate approached, someone is approaching. Yu 
Yuzheng Hai said indifferently, kill them, but this person has extremely high cultivation and said you definitely want to meet him, the subordinate added. Hearing this, Yuzheng Hai suddenly became intrigued. Interesting, he moved to the other side of the chariot. There he saw a man holding a mysterious treasure box, standing in midair below him. Eldest senior brother, long time no see. Si Wuya greeted as he floated up. Let him come up, Yuzheng Hai ordered. Upon hearing his command, the four guardians below cleared the way, and Si Wuya materialized onto the flying chariot. Nice to see you, eldest senior brother, Si Wuya said as he landed. Yuzheng Hai looked at him and gave a faint smile. You're usually bogged down with endless tasks, so what brings you to God Capital today? You jest, eldest senior brother. My dark net is hardly a hub of endless responsibilities. On the contrary, it's you who has left Pingdu Mountain to personally visit Prince Qi's mansion. What brings you here? Yuzheng Hai shook his head. Your second senior brother killed some of my people. If I don't take action personally, knowing his temperament, he's likely to strike again. Eldest senior brother, please calm your anger. It's just a man named Chen Wenjia who was killed. On the surface, Chen Wenjia pledged allegiance to Underworld Sect, but was secretly colluding with the Cloud, Sky, and Luo Sex. Second senior brother has actually eliminated an insider threat for you. This is a good thing. I'm fully aware of Chen Wenjia's background. He was merely a pawn. At the very least, having him around allowed me to openly restrain the experts of the Clarity Sect. Your second senior brother may be humble in his interactions, but he is naive and simplistic. He can't fathom my plans. Si Wuya chuckled. Eldest senior brother, you're right. Old seventh, let me ask you. What would you like to ask? Feel free to ask anything. Eldest senior brother, I'll speak my mind freely, replied Si Wuya. You've always had a strategic mindset. Do you think what your second senior brother did was right? Upon hearing this, Si Wuya paused for a moment. No, second senior brother did wrong. Yu Hai's face brightened as if he had found a kindred spirit. The only one who understands me is my junior brother Si Wuya. You have keen insights. If I were to conquer God Capital, what would you do? Junior brother would, of course, fully support you. Second senior brother asked me to relay a message to you. He doesn't want to interfere with your affairs and hopes that you won't interfere with his either. Yu Hai raised an eyebrow. Same old ass. Attitude. Enough about him. Today is a rare chance to see you. Junior brother Siwuya, let's not spoil the mood. Bring out the wine. As soon as the words were spoken, two subordinates hurriedly brought the wine over. Siwuya was somewhat speechless. After downing three cups of wine, Yu Hai asked him the purpose of his visit. Seventh junior brother, what brings you to me? Siwuya set down his wine bowl and pointed to the box beside him. This is a box from our master. Upon hearing this, Yu Hai's brows furrowed slightly. Ever since I came out of seclusion, I heard that master, by his own power, had repelled held 10 top experts. Now he's residing in Evil Sky Pavilion to enjoy his twilight years. What does this box mean? The box is extremely mysterious, impervious to even sky-level weapons. It requires six different weapons to open it. Now we are only missing your green jade sword and sixth junior sister's emotional ring. The emotional ring is currently with Master, Si Wuya explained. Yu Hai appeared puzzled. Our master has many treasures in his possession. What's so special about this box? Do you know what's inside? Si Wuya shook his head. I don't know, but the more valuable it is, the more it should be opened. Treasures shouldn't be left to gather dust. If you want to conquer God Capital, the more treasures, the better. Fair point, Yu Hai said, slightly lifting his right hand. In a flash of light, the green jade sword appeared in the palm of his hand. Si Wuya thought he was about to open the box and pointed to one of its sides, reminding him place it in the slot to activate it. However, Yu Hai didn't place the green jade sword into the slot. Second senior brother has made his choice, and seventh junior brother has also made his choice. What will you do if I don't agree to open the box? Si Wuya smiled lightly. This box was brought down the mountain by fourth senior brother Ming Shireen. Ming Shireen holds a sky-level weapon, which should be this pattern here. It looks like a hook in a blade. The slot has been activated. Fourth senior brother gave me seven days. If it's not opened, master will likely be angry. He's getting old and doesn't have the patience anymore. Yu Hai clearly understood the meaning behind his words. With a flick of his fingers, the green jade sword spiraled down towards the ground. Si Wuya's gaze also followed below, realizing that the flying chariot had arrived at the head quarters of the green dragon altar. Every stream of vital energy took the form of the green jade sword. The actual green jade sword was enveloped by thick vital energies, stirring the elemental energy like a large windmill. The dispersed elemental energy coalesced into smaller versions of the green jade sword. This technique was eldest senior brother's signature skill, the great mysterious heavenly scroll, a move not to be underestimated even by experts of the same level. By the time the cultivators at the green dragon headquarters looked up and realized the sword reign was upon them, it was already 
be too late. Cultivators of average skill were instantly sliced into pieces by the sharpness of the green jade swords. Even some half-human height avatars were instantly sliced open by the sword rain from the great mysterious heavenly scroll. Yu Hai indifferently issued an order for protectors. Clean this up. As the words fell, the four individuals left the flying chariot and flew downwards. For massive hundred tribulation inside avatars lined up in a row, each sitting on golden lotuses with at least six petals. Siwiya knew that the underworld sect was strong, but he had underestimated just how strong. In addition to the four protectors, there were thousands of disciples, as well as numerous powerful cultivators scattered throughout the land. The fact that eldest senior brother could rally so many powerful beings to join the underworld sect was incredibly impressive. Yu Hai smiled slightly at this moment. Junior brother Siwuya, don't be surprised. The green dragon altar might have openly allied with us, but they were double dealing behind our backs. They got what they deserved. Siwuya bowed slightly. Eldest senior brother, you are indeed crafty. You flatter me, junior brother. Let's have another drink. The flying chariot gradually moved out of the range of the green dragon altar. Moments later, the four protectors completed their mission. Master, the cleaning is done, they reported. Yu Hai nodded and put down his wine cup. Siwuya, maintaining a calm expression, began to speak. The spectacle is over, and we've had enough wine. About the matter of the box, his words were interrupted by Yu Hai. If it weren't for seventh junior brother seeking me out, I wouldn't have agreed to open this box for anyone else. Since it's you who's asking, how could I refuse? I will open the box, but not today. In seven days, I will personally deliver it to old eighth's Tiger Ridge gang. It will be a good opportunity to see eighth junior brother. It has been a long time since I've seen old eighth, and this will be a good opportunity to catch up. See we outside in relief. That's very good to hear. Old seventh, aren't you going to ask why I made that decision? I've always trusted eldest senior brother's judgment. There's no need to question it. Ha ha ha. Among everyone in this world, the person I admire the most is seventh junior brother. You honor me, senior brother, Siwiya said, bowing slightly. Eldest senior brother, I have other matters to attend to. I'll leave the matter of the box in your hands. Yu Hai nodded. If you see second senior brother, relay a message for me. If he has time, I'd very much like to spar with him. A blade must be constantly sharpened to maintain its edge, and I imagine it's the same for second senior brother's sword. You have a point, eldest senior brother. A good opponent brings out the best in you. Without a worthy opponent, dealing with inferior talents all day won't help you maintain a high level of skill. I will convey this to second senior brother. Yu Hai waved goodbye while sipping his wine. Si Wuya then took to the sky and left the flying chariot. After his figure disappeared, a female subordinate stepped forward. Master, we must be cautious with this man. He appears somewhat deceitful, full of flattery and sycophancy. Yu Hai's expression chilled upon hearing the subordinate's words. Without warning, he slapped the female subordinate in the chest. She grunted and quickly begged for mercy. Master, I apologize for my misjudgment. Yu Hai glanced at her, his voice softening considerably. This slap is a minor punishment. Do you really think you can gauge 7th junior brother? You are my most capable and trusted subordinates. Do you think Underworld Sect would be as glorious as it is today without the work 7th junior brother has done behind the scenes? This slap serves not only as a punishment but also as a warning. Never underestimate anyone again.